Hey Bob, this is a Maury Pope that I just got through doing the restoration on and I thought it'd be really cool to find out when exactly did you shape this thing. My guess it was probably sometime in 68. What's the history behind this? Thanks Bob. Hi Randy. Yeah mate, that board, Maury Pope, I shaped there from 68, 69, 70 in California in the building where Patagonia is today. It had to be done in 68 because it had the V bottom. I was still trying to get over the plastic machine, incorporate a little bit into the tail. So it's got a great nose, good front end, no stringer in the tail because I was working on flex at the time. So yeah, it was an interesting experiment from 1968, probably late in 68. Thanks for the question, mate. Hi, Bob. Which of surfing's many skills do you see as most fundamental, the backbone of it all? Or is there even such a thing? Is the real art of surfing in how you choose to put these skills together? That's a brilliant question and a very quick, spontaneous answer. One that comes from a guy who's been surfing for 65 years. It has to be the skill that doesn't fade, the one that gets better and better, even while the body gets older. That one skill is reading the ocean. It's the game of chess with the surf that day. That never gets old. Wave selection, navigating with the ocean, the chess game with the ocean never gets old. Thanks, Nick. Brilliant question. I love the way your mind works. Good day, Bob. Uh, just revisited this fantastic book and had a question for you about Ma and Pa Bendel. Wanted to see if you could share with us uh, a little story or two about uh, Ma and Pa. Didn't recognize you without the big black bushy beard. You're looking good, mate. Yeah, you're asking about Ma and Pa Bendel. But I told a lot of stories in my first book about Ma and Pa. But what I failed to get was just how stoked they were, particularly Pa. He was a Canadian Air Force pilot during the Second World War, came to Australia on a whim, fell in love with a local girl and married her. That was Ma, Marge. Um, two blocks of flats in Caloundra. That was Pa's job, was to keep them running. And meantime, he'd go surfing the rest of the day. He'd pick me up early in the morning. I was sleeping in the Caloundra Surf Club first aid room. And we'd go to Moffat's if it was southerly, we'd surf Kings Beach if it was northerly. Or a special side trip, we'd go to Noosa, or even down to the Gold Coast for the day. She'd come around to Moffat's on the weekend when it was kind of more social, and she'd bring tea and cookies and fresh bakes for, for all the gang. It was like a little Malibu set up around there at Moffat's in the late 50s, early 60s. But Pa and I were the only seven days a week surfers stoked out of our brains north of Brisbane in 1960, 61. Thank you, Pa, you stoked old mongrel. Hi, Richie Lovett here. Quick questions directed at Bob. Mate, understand you've been going through a few health challenges lately, so just wondering how all the recovery is going. Cheers, mate. All the best. In February the 8th, like less than two months ago, I had a cancer cut out of my gums and teeth and sinuses, and there was a squamous cell carcinoma, pretty serious, aggressive. And then the surgeons cut a chunk out of my leg and stitched it into my face. And that's why I'm a little bit droopy on one side. I was cut down the nose here, down the lip, peeled the cheek back, cut the chunk out. Incredible surgery, yeah, like gourmet surgery. And John O'Neill, ENT specialist, did it up at uh, John Flint. And I was in intensive care for five days. I was cut right down through here. Lymph nodes, 20 lymph nodes were taken out. All that was sent to pathology. Clear of cancer in the lymph nodes. And the cancer inside my gums was, com it was contained in the block. So I'm cancer free and to keep that way, I'm just using um, supplements and eating unreal. My wife's food's super good. Got to cut back on wine, glass of red now and then, but yeah, feeling good. Best I've felt for six months because the cancer's gone. Well, thanks for asking, Rich. 